Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is Richard from Welshy Tech, and this time we're looking at some new ARGB fans from Inwin. These are the Lynx LN120s, and all I'm going to say is they are very unique looking. Okay then, so this is a set of the Lynx LN120s. These are from Inwin. Now these are their modular fans. These they brought these out last year, but this is the first time I'm actually having a look at them and they look rather cool. So let's open them up. But that's what the overall specs are. But there, and that's what they look like. They come in black and white. So let's okay, open them up. I'll show you the connections, I'll show you what comes in the box as well. So, right, there we get a cover which says go cable free. So now, yes, these are connected, and how they connect is by type c which is quite cool to be honest so connect like that and it sinks that is quite cool the fins are rather nice to it. i do like the overall design very very cool yes you can connect up to more than just three fans they are fully daisy chainable now here is the type c connector so this will be for just initially the cables while what this will be for is if you're running three on an aio and then you're running say let's say three on the side then you can connect these up to the same connections to, con to control them see there there see right so let's have a look now we'll have a look at you in here because this is going to have your screws going to have another connector from the looks of it so okay okay there's that is that it now yep that's it right so Comes with mounting screws for a case, but then it also comes with these. These are specifically for these fans. So, yeah. And then here is the connector. Now, what this will do essentially at the edge, but here, let me take one off. This, but here, that will connect here like that. Just like that. And then these do uh, go off to normal 4-pin and ARGB, which is fantastic. But this will be a lot easier to actually do the connection. So what you could essentially do is this. Uh, wait. That way. That's it. Right. So like this. So if you stall these to a radiator, connect them up, and then you've got that connection there. And then you just daisy chain them straight to a ARGB. Now, what I would suggest with these, though, is actually having a hub. A hub would be a lot easier because these draw quite a bit of power. And I will get to the specs right now. Okay, so when it comes to the fan size, now these are thicker than normal case fans. These are 28 millimeters thick. So you do have to bear that in mind when installing these in the case. Now, as for the materials, it is a uh, PBT and then a PC. The rated is uh, voltage, of course, is for DC 12 volts, and the wattage rated power is 2.4 watts. That's how much. That's how it. That's how much it actually takes. Now, when it comes to like the fan speeds, these do go from uh, 900 RPM up to 22. The CFM airflow, so what I'd suggest is 24.95, that'll probably be at the lower setting, and then it's 61.2 CFM at the higher setting, which quite honestly isn't the most amazing when it comes to uh, airflow, but that's fine. Now, it's the air pressure. It's, a zero, it's between 0 0.51 and 3.40 millimeter H2O. Now, that's where that's going to actually benefit because these... As you can see, they're like this. As you can see, look, they've got like a wall here. This does tend to allow air to go much easier. That's where the stat pressure will be easier. Noise level is between 17.2 and 25.5 decibel rating. So high static airflow fans, turbulent, a turbine blade design. It's got silent performance, modular fan connection, and I see enhanced PWM precision. So let's get these installed and see what they look like, shall we?
This is the Inwin Lynx LN120 fans at 50% fan speed. These are basically silent 50%. Same thing but 100% fan speed. They're louder but not a lot louder. So, when it comes to the overall system that I did use for testing, it is on my AM5 test bench. It's got a Ryzen 9 7900. It's got 16 gigs of DDR5. It has an RX 7800 XT Nitro Plus from Sapphire. It does have a 1000 watt cooling power supply. It is also housing the BeQuad Charabase 800 FX case with four 140 Lightwing fans and the AIO used for testing is the AR360 from Inwin. Okay, so when it comes to the overall testing methods now, I do, do uh, two different tests when it comes to fan reviews. I do the same thing with uh, AIOs as well as CPU coolers. I do 50% and 100. Now this time, what I'm going to say first of all is the room temperature. This time it was rather high during testing. At the beginning of testing, it was 14 Celsius in the room, but did go up to 18 Celsius. So it did creep up by 4 degrees. So for 50% fan speed, the CPU power was 167 watts, but the low was 155. The CPU clocks at 5.4 and the low at 5. Now for Cinebench R23, the idles were 34 with a max of 88 Celsius. Blender Pavilion, idles 34 with a max of 85 Celsius. Blender Classroom, idles 34 again with a max of 85 again. And 3D Marks you test, idles 34 with a max of 70 Celsius. Okay, so when it comes to the overall 100% fan speed now, the power draw was a little bit lower on the high, but it was also higher on the low. So for CPU power draw, the high was 164 with a low of 158 so it was definitely higher this time the clock speeds were also better they were a higher 5.4 and they were low at 5.1 gigahertz so you do actually get a hundred may hurt more when it comes to going 100 percent fan speed so now when it comes to the cinebench r23 run the idles were identical to the 50 percent fan speed run they were 34 degrees but the max I did reach at this with the temperature with these fans was 85 Celsius. That's for Cinebench Blender Pavilion. The idles again, 34. Max, 83. So we've lost again. Blender Classroom, idles, 34 with a max of 83. And 3D Marks, you test, idles with 34 with a max of 68 Celsius. Okay, and so what do you think of that? Now, yes, I have got another set of three here. They sent these just before Christmas. They actually sent them part as a Christmas gift, so big thank you to Inwin. But these are for more just representation, just me to show you what they actually look like in person. It's different when it comes to looking it through a video, but what I'm going to tell you is the main aspects of this design I like. I like the modularity. I really like that you can just unclip it, and it's also done by Type-C connection. Very, very good. I like that aspect. The performance, they really, really do push a lot of air. I will say that. the Whether the turbulent design is a part of that, but I don't know. But I'm not an expert when it comes to overall like fans and stuff like that. I'm no expert. I haven't got the actual equipment to test these properly. So I'm just going to leave that down to the perform good. Now, the design aspect of the fans themselves, like the blades... I like the turbulent design of it, but it's the RGB illumination and this funky uh, like crop circle type design in the middle. It's just not for me. It's just not my type of RGB or my type of fan I pick. I usually go for full RGB like the Neptune fans. The Neptune fans are amazing. I really do love those fans. Like I said, when I reviewed the AR360, that I previously used them in my own system and I never had an issue with them. I really do love those fans. These, I just don't like the overall design, the overall illumination and stuff. It's just not something I'm into. Whether you're into space theme, then that's completely up to you. Whether you agree, that's up to you as well. Now, if you want to buy some, I'm going to put links down below just because I won't buy them. That's just due to personal taste. 
whether you want to or not that's up to you if you like the overall look and just the overall crop circle or the overall illumination then that's up to you as well i'm not gonna say anything bad about in wind because at the end of the day the overall design as well as the overall uh the overall connections the overall feel the the presentation of the box and stuff it's very very good so they they do get marks for that and i'm not going to say anything bad because it's just a personal taste with me for rgb fans so that's not a negative it's just me being just giving you my personal taste and personal opinion if you like these type of fans then that's up to you all for it that's completely up to you but for me no it's not bad. They perform very, very, very well. I like the overall connections. I like the box presentation. I like that. It's just a Type-C connection. They do give you this. I'm, I'm assuming this is just a link. More banks of fans, which is fantastic. I do like that. And it gets a thumbs up. So if you want to buy some, I'll leave links down below for you. Make sure you check out the Inwin website because the one of the things I like about Inwin is they always innovate. They always come out with something unique and very striking and very uh let's just say futuristic they always try to push the boat and that is what i'm all for i really do support the way they are and yeah so yeah look i hope you at least enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe i've got absolutely loads of coming i got cases aios i've got monitors i've got absolute loads here so make sure you subscribe to the channel check out another video and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you this is richard welsh tech goodbye